Hello everyone, and welcome back. Okay, I reached into the locks that Pick Me 1977 sent me, and I pulled out this Oko, and it is a Den Brass challenge lock. Um, I guess he calls it small. It's got the key mummied here, and this one here has a quick set keyway. I have another Den Brass here, Ilko. <laughs> That is not a quick set keyway. Um, it's kind of like a reverse uh, Yale, sort of, I guess. But um, this has been sitting in my naughty bucket for a while. I was actually picking on it a little bit tonight. I want to try to get it out of my naughty bucket, but it claimed my sparrows at 15,000. So I'm not going to be picking on this until I get another um, sparrows 15,000. And um, the funny thing is, I actually do have two Sparrows picks here in 15,000s that just came in today. Um, well, actually, it's this morning. Actually, these came in, I guess you would call it yesterday, with this um, Spirit pick set from Sparrows here. But these are also, these are both being shipped out to uh, Lockbuster today. I got these um, doing a, a lock trade with uh, Lockbuster. I like to help them out and get him some picks because it is so much uh, so much money for him to uh, get these pick sets where he lives. He lives in uh, Bulgaria. So, but anyways, um, so I grabbed this one here from Pick Me. Again, Pick Me, thank you very much for all the lock you sent me. And, well, I guess we're not getting into this one. We will try to get into this one. Um, all right, let me, uh, let me zoom us in. And um, we will get started on this lock. All right, it's a quick set, so we'll go with top of the keyway. This ten wrench and fifty fifty thousandths. And I think I could probably use. I believe this is my Tron from Sparrows. All right, let's see what we have here. I think I got a little bit out of one. Okay, I got a little, a little bit more. Another little click out of one. Might have been overset. I think. Oh, okay, that was pin two. I just rubbed across it. Got a little bit of a turn on the core. Now I'm trying to get under three. Okay, I had a little bit of counter rotation, and I think I may have got him. Now I'm trying to get under pin four here. Clicks out of five. Still had that false set. And some counter half of two, I believe. Okay, and I seem to have lost that false set. I think I got it back, or some of it. Okay, that was pin four. Again, trying to get under five. Okay, I got a little bit out of him, a couple clicks. Counter here on one, I believe. No, oh, that was two. Okay, 
and three. I think I'm dropping them, trying to get underneath these ones. So I was pin four. Okay, pin five is a little hard to get under, and I think I'm dropping pins trying to get under them, so I'm go a little bit shallower hook here. I think this is the the low HD, I think they call it. Counter right here and two. dropping pins trying to get these spools all right we're almost back to where we started try to get under five with this one this time And we're open on five. Awesome. All right. Let's uh, let's see what we have in this lock. Let me zoom us out. Cool. All right. We do have a key. Um, let me grab my pinning tray, and we will unmummy that key. I do like to see the biddings myself, especially a Den Brass bidding. So, yeah, that's a bidding. I can see it already. Ugh. That's one of Den Brass's biddings. He loves these types of biddings. All right, let's see how good this key works. It works very smooth. Well, oh, no, a little bit of hang up. Just if you push it in all the way, nice and smooth. But, uh oh. But the key does not want to come out now. All right, well, we're going to have to um, leave it in. And we will get the back off of this. That's the trouble sometimes with those types of biddings. Um, you can have a lot of trouble with the key trying to get it in and out of the keyway. And that seems to be the case with this key. All right, I'm going to throw a shim in here. Okay. I'll spin this a little bit. Here we go. Awesome. All right, we can see all five pins are in there. Let me try to pull this key out without knocking them all over the place. I can see some T-pin down there, and everything is below the shear line. Everything definitely had to be picked. I see some counter milling, some threading in all the chambers, except for, oh, no, that might be um, threading in one, too. 
So let's uh, take a look at the pins. One is a serrated. Two is a serrated spool. Another serrated spool T pin. And a serrated in four and a serrated spool in five. Yeah, and here in the core we can see it has threading in all five chambers. All right, let's see what we have up here. We have a T pin made out of a key pin. I think he uses uh, a lot of key pins um, for his drivers and he doesn't flatten them out or nothing. He just uses them. Must be like me. I have basically all um, key pins but I use them as the drivers too but I, I file down the back. And we have a serrated spool here in two. Copper spring that does not want to come out. But we are going to get it out. Alright, number three is a spool. I think all the springs are the same so far. Let me bring this around this way. Number five is a deep spool. And it is beveled on the top. Kind of round it off a little bit. Yep. I think all the springs are the same. And here we have a spool T-pin in four. And that spring might be the only one that's a little different because I don't see it. Oh, there it is. And it is different. It is a small. Maybe that is a copper or brass and the rest of these are steel springs. All right, up here, let me grab my flashlight. Nope. Nothing done here in the Bible. Alright, let's have a look at these pins. Okay. We have a serrated in one. Lots of serrations here. Um, we have a serrated spool here in two. We have a kind of like a spool with some serrations in it and to a t-pin in three um, a couple of very wide serrations here in four very sharp serration in the middle of that one too um, a serrated spool in five and then up top here we have a t-pin in one a spool um, serrated here on the top in two um, a spool here in three a uh, spool T-pin here in four. And a sp deep spool here in five. And the top is kind of rounded off there. Pretty cool. Then we have all steel springs except for this one. Um, probably copper here in four. But yeah, an awesome lock from uh, Den Brass. And thank you again, Pickney, for sending it to me. And thank you for all the locks. Um, but yeah, guys, there you go. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you have any questions um, or comments, comment below. And yeah, everyone, please be safe and stay legal. Thanks, guys. Bye.